Hi everyone, it's Dr. Sarah Moore here, and today I have the absolute pleasure of speaking with Janine Page. Janine is a child health nurse in our community here in the Southwest, and one of her passions is perinatal um, emotional wellbeing, and also obviously um, infant wellbeing. And this has led her to become involved with the Radiance Network here in the Southwest, supporting uh, mums and families and babies. So thank you, Janine, and we're uh, really looking forward to our chat this morning. Thank you for having me. Mm, pleasure. So Janine, I thought we could start by just having a bit of a chat about the statistics around perinatal uh, mental illness, in particular um, perinatal depression and anxiety. Can you share with us some of the sort of um, yeah, some of the numbers um, and and highlight the issues that um, that are existing here in in uh, well in WA, but also nationally. Sure. So at least more than one in seven mums and one in ten dads experience postnatal depression, and postnatal anxiety is just as common. Um, many parents experience anxiety and depression at the same time, and I think it's really important to raise awareness so that pe people know that they don't have to just live with the anxiety and depression that they're, they're suffering with. Um, Postnatal anxiety and depression can be really frightening and isolating and just so overwhelming for the parents because they're trying to deal with their symptoms as well as care for their baby or children at the same time. Um, the symptoms that parents experience can vary in intensity and the mental health issues postnatally uh, can really get in the way of enjoying the baby and, and impact so greatly on the whole family. Um, so seeking help early definitely can lead to a faster recovery with less impact on the person and their baby and their family relationships. So that's why it's so important to get the awareness out there and let people know the help that is available. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> certainly everywhere and um, people are suffering with depression and anxiety and I do see a lot of both in yes absolutely yeah. as do I yeah and um, so I guess that's a really um, nice way to segue into how this Radiance Network came to be and who who is involved with the network and so I guess what the aims and sort of um, goals of that network are Sure. So the Radiance Network originated actually from a donation from a community member, uh, CJ Hines, who um, suffered with postnatal psychosis. She has recently shared her story in the Southwest yeah. and she received a great deal of care and support postnatally as, or, and, uh, during and after her psychosis. And she was, she was so grateful for the support, but also recognised that there needed to be more help available for people going through similar things. So she held a fundraiser and raised a massive $15,000, which she can, she donated to LAMP, who then worked together with Southwest Women's Health um, to, to increase awareness and services in the Southwest for perinatal mental health. Um, so from that, that was back in March last year, 2017, a community forum was held and that was opened up to anybody who was passionate about the area of perinatal um, and infant wellbeing, emotional wellbeing. And then a team was formed from, from that forum. It included um, child health nurses, GPs like yourself, um, Red Cross, Playgroup WA, um, LAMP, Southwest Women's Health Centre, Parent Con Parenting Connections, Anglicare, many people who... Um, who really wanted to see some, some more services in the Southwest for that. And after much time, um, the Radiance Network was formed and that was launched officially last November at the Big Pram Walk in Postnatal Depression Week. Um, and we since went on to hold the second Pram Walk, Big Pram Walk in Postnatal Depression Week um, last November just gone. So basically the vision of the Radiance Network is to raise awareness around um, perinatal anxiety, depression and other mental health issues and raise awareness about the importance of supporting the emotional wellbeing of families as they adjust to parenting. Um, and the, the overall aim was to, to provide a network connecting parents to services that are available um, in their community um, or that are accessible by telephone. Um, and to just ensure that the communication and education and action around 
perinatal mental health continues really mm. yeah wonderful oh i mean it's just amazing to see how it's evolved and grown in such a short period of time and it really is um, providing such a valuable service to um, women and families in our community so it's been a, a really beautiful thing to watch and it is. Um, yeah so I guess out of that, um, really exciting to share that we're going to be holding our inaugural Radiant Symposium in February next year. So would yeah. you like to talk a little bit about that, Janine? Sure. So with, our, with the vision of the Radiance Network in mind, and given that we are seeing so much postnatal depression and anxiety and just general adjustment disorders, and knowing the effects that this has on families and relationships and the well-being of children, we decided to plan this symposium just to really raise awareness um, with, with health professionals so that the families can get much better help, really. Um, so the symposium will be held here in Busselton February the 23rd. It's a Saturday next year. Um, and it will be held in the beautiful Underlap Room in the city of Busselton. Our keynote, our theme for the conference for the symposium is together anything is possible. Um, and from that we the overall message is that we don't have to do it all alone. We were never meant to. So it's going back to that concept of, of it takes a village and, and utilising the support that we would like to be available. Our keynote speaker is Dr. BJ Roach. And he is uh, the founder of the Gidget Foundation over in New South Wales, which is what Radiance Network really aspires to be, actually. Yes. Um, Gidget Foundation is a not-for-profit organisation and they provide programs to support the emotional wellbeing of expecting and new parents. And they also provide a lot of education and awareness to health professionals um, and the community. Yes. So we're very privileged that VJ is coming over to be our keynote speaker. Fabulous. <laughs> Uh, that's very exciting. And um, Janine, would you like to share some information so that people who'd like to come along uh, can find out how to purchase a ticket and be there on the day? Absolutely. So the tickets are available now. Um, the early bird price is $115 and that price is up until the 31st of December. After that, uh, there will be $150 and the closing date is 15th of February. Um, so get on in the early bird period um, and that will, that will include the full day and that's from registration at 8 a.m right through to 4 30. Um, the speakers include um, VJ as I said, um, Sharon Cook and Dr Sue Colson who will talk about mother baby nurture which is a program that is available through the Radiance Network in the southwest for mums and bubs um, yourself. Dr Keith Mowat because we're very aware that um, dads also suffer from um, postnatal anxiety and depression. So he will focus on the work that he does with men in the community. Um, we will hear from CJ Hines, who is the ambassador for Radiance, to talk about her story. Um, Professor Megan Galbally, um, to talk about her pregnancy emotional wellbeing study and just really understanding maternal, maternal mental health and child outcomes. Um, another psychologist in our community, Belinda Butler O'Halloran, who did a study on um, what women in our particular community, it was locally based want in the postnatal period. Um, hearing from Madeline Day and Margaret Boldoon, who um, are at the Fiona Stanley Hospital Mother of Baby Unit, which some of our mums do use, um, amongst others. So to get the ticket, the, so yes, it includes the full program as, as well as morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, and um, welcome drinks at the sundowner afterwards. Um, and to get the tickets, people just need to go onto our website for Radiance, which is radiancesouthwest.com.au, and the link to the tickets to Eventbrite is on the website. Fabulous. Uh, well, I am really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a fabulous day, not only of learning, but networking and just um, coming to know who's in our community, who we can reach out to, who we can work with collaboratively to support mums and families and children. So it's going to be a beautiful day. And um, thank you so much to you, Janine, for all the hard work you put into organising it. It's um, really shaping up to be a wonderful day. So thank you. And it's such a privilege to be involved. I love it. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Well, I think that's it. Unless you had any other closing comments you wanted to make, Janine? 
No, I think that's it. Just just come along, everybody. Come along and um, learn. And like you said, Sarah, just the, the networking and the community collaboration is, is one of the best things that has come out of Radiance Networks. So come and be part of it. Wonderful. Okay, well, we'll yeah. see you there. Thanks, Janine. Thanks, Sarah. Bye. Bye.